Hey you guys, happy new year and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be starting off the year with this sexy bombshell look and I know it's been forever since I've recorded. That will be a whole nother video. I will explain all of that later. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into this look. I'm excited to be back with you guys if you can't tell. But I'm going to moisturize my lips using the Carmex um, lip moisturizer. I love this stuff so much. And then we're going to jump right into doing our brows. I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. Nothing has really changed with me doing my brows. I like to outline the shape first and then go right into filling them in. I know they look a mess right now. I have to get them done. But it's totally okay because afterwards they're going to look bomb. Next, we're going to go ahead and clean up our brow using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the shade Espresso. I like using a shade that's like my complexion when it comes to cleaning up my brows instead of using like a lighter shade just because I don't like that highlight effect. And we're going to use that same concealer to apply as a base for our eyelids and I'm just using my finger to blend that all out. Next, I'm going to set that using the CoverGirl Loose Powder. I didn't realize my beauty sponge was like really damp, so it was kind of hard to get the powder onto my lids without sticking to the beauty sponge. Um, but we're going to go into Persian Peach. This is the Coastal Scents um, Single Pot Shadow. And I'm just applying that into my crease. This is going to help me transition the shades that I'm going to be using today. And I'm totally just blending everything out. Next, I'm going to use the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to go into the shade Peanut Butter. If you can't tell, I love that shade. It's the perfect transition shade. So I use that shade a lot. It's almost gone if you couldn't see that. And I'm just applying that in my crease also. And I'm bringing it down a little bit towards my lid. Next, we're going to go into the shade New Terrain, and we're going to go ahead and apply that in our crease also. And we're just making sure we're blending out everything. Now, I didn't feel like that shade was dark enough for the look that I was going for, so I did go into the shade Timeless Taupe, and I applied that in my crease also. So you'll see me doing that next. And I totally love these shadows so much. Now we're going into a black base. Um, any base you guys have will work as long as it's black. I honestly don't know the name of this, but I will have all the products listed down below for you all. So it's totally cool. And we're going to pack on the shade New Terrain onto our lid. And just make sure everything is blended out also. Now we're going to go ahead and line our waterline using a black gel pencil liner. This is our Jordana 12 hour pencil liner. I love this so much. I swear I can't believe I'm almost out and I have to go get another one. Now we're going to go ahead and line our eyes using the NYX Studio Liquid Liner. I'm not doing a thick liner. This is going to be a very thin wing liner. And now we're going to go into the shade Blackout from our Naked 2 palette. And we're just going to apply that in the outer corner of our lid. And this is going to help us smoke it out just a little bit. I, don't, I didn't want it to be too, too dark, but I did want to smoke it out a little bit. Now I'm just applying some mascara to my lashes and prepping them for my falsies that I'm going to be applying. Now, the foundation that I have, I use two foundations. As you can tell, I'm almost out of one of them. I will have both of them listed down below for you guys. Um, but I like to use these two just because I feel like one's too light and one is too dark. So then mixed together is perfect. Um, I use a brush first and then I use a damp beauty sponge. And I start, you know, dabbing it all over my face just to make sure it gives that flawless look. 
Now we're going to go into that same concealer that we were using earlier um, in the shade Espresso. And we're going to start highlighting and contouring. I like to use Espresso and the shade Cool Tan just because it's it gives me the perfect shade. I don't like it being too, too light whenever I'm highlighting. And I'm using a damn beauty sponge to blend that all out. Now we're gonna go ahead and set that using the same CoverGirl loose powder. I don't really bake, I just apply it to set it and then I brush it off after I'm done applying it all in the areas that I highlighted. And then we're going to brush away all the excess powder. Now it's time to bronze up our face. I use the L bronzer and then I go in and contour a little more just to sculpt my face using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I contour the crap out of my nose because we all have to snatch that nose. Now we're going to go into the shade New Terrain and we're going to apply that to our lower lash line. And we're going to go ahead and highlight next. Um, I like to use this e.l.f. highlighter first and then I go into a It Cosmetics highlighter just to give it that extra boost. And those two mixed together give me so much life, you guys just don't understand. Now we're going to apply some mascara to our lower lashes. I already applied my falsies off camera. If you guys want to see a video of that, just thumbs up this video. I will totally have it. And once we are done with that, we're going to go ahead and spray our face. And then I will go in and do my lips next. Um, I'm just lining my lips with this maybe magenta lip liner. And then I'm going to go into the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Lippy in the shade Kapow. And apply that to my lips. And that will pretty much complete the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, definitely thumbs up this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, well, make sure you guys subscribe. Of course, if you're thumbs up, you already like the video. <laughs> but make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Leave comments down below. Interact with me. I'll have everything listed down below for you guys. Until then, I will see you guys next time. And take care.